Big money, big money, big money. Come on. Ooh. That's nice. Too bad I don't really need the silk touch. Hello, and welcome. I'm Zinder, and as you can see by this graph on the wall behind me... Where's the graph? Which one of you took my graph? Now, um, basically, if you haven't established it already, there was supposed to be a graph that plans what I'm going to do. But I don't have a whole lot planned. I did, however, get to work on this. If I'm right, that should all be dirt that I placed. Now, uh, basically this is out underneath that lake. I've been doing a lot of filling in before, but I think I've filled in enough. This looks like a good enough size room. And I apparently missed some blocks. Oh, there's a hole. So, hmm, whatever. I'll deal with you later. I wrecked a pick, like, really, really fast. Clearing this out originally. And then I combined the two picks. So now I have another efficiency five pick, which is what's right here. But it's not particularly like the uh, the one pick that I combined with it to get that wasn't exactly high itself, and the one that I used clearing this out literally had so little health left you couldn't even see a red bar. It was an empty bar, so I'd say it came out pretty well on durability to be honest. But that's just me. But. Uh, Sorry about there not being any Minecraft episodes for, like, over a week there. Uh, right, like, right before Christmas, I got sick. And it sucked. You know whenever you get sick in a way where your throat hurts really bad and, like, you can't even tell that you're talking because you just sound really, really bad? Yeah. Like, it hurt to talk. And it was like that for... Till probably three days ago. So, that sucked. End of story there. But, basically, uh, while I was just sitting here doing nothing, basically, because I didn't really do anything for the holidays... I was playing Feed the Beast, and I think I might have Feed the Beasted myself all out on that one. I played it, like, a lot. You don't even know. And you're probably kind of curious as to what exactly... Like, clearly I'm making an underground area, but what is it for? Well, I've started to learn that not everything I build can be practical. Sometimes it just needs to be there to look good. And I want... Well, I think, essentially, in the end, it's going to look like an underground... Like, basically a water viewing area. Look out. Have a look at the fishes. Besides the fact that Minecraft doesn't really have any fish. It's got squids. Who knows? But, as you can tell, my plan was to pave the floor with stone f flabs? Stone flabs? The heck is a stone flab? Uh, I haven't quite decided what I'm going to do for the wall yet, but I think the roof is going to do a taper from... Mm, it'll either start there and then come out and taper into like a dome shape or hmm I'm not sure what I'm gonna do with these walls right here though whoops problem with efficiency 5 it's very fast and the problem with this patch I need to have an axe a shovel and a pick and then I've got this pick and I believe the silk touch one is still back in the house where I left it 
let's see. Well, if that's there like that, I need to put steps in over there. The glass is going to need to start... Well, it doesn't have to actually be on the outer rim. Hmm... I really need to make use of these keys. Woohoo! So, if that starts there, like so... Ah! Should have brought the silk touch pick. Hmm. Maybe. There's only one problem with this whole thing. As you can tell, I don't really have an easy way to go about applying these things. There we go. Fortunately, this room is so high that I couldn't place that block in there, so how am I going to add to that thing? Oh. Uh, shit. Ah, hate that noise. Hate it. Seriously, if there is one thing I could definitely mod Minecraft for, it would re would be to remove the glass breaking sound. I just don't like it. it. Makes me never want to use glass because you don't want to break it. Ever. Hmm. I have more sand cooking into glass. Oh, right. That's against the ceiling, which will help with that. Do I have dirt on me? Not really. So, like I said, I think I'm going to turn this into like an underground... Underground? Underwater, like... I don't want that there. Like I said, I kind of want to dome it up. Ooh, one of those actually went where I wanted it, though. So, I'm going to try and make it look as good as I can inside of here. Which, knowing me, is probably going to end up looking like crap, but I don't really care at this point. Now... You have to be really careful with these things. These super shovels of super doom. Why does it sound very... I don't know. Seems like it's got a bit of bass to them when you place them. How's that? I might take that up one more later. But that should be good for now, I think. I still have a bit of a cough. I still am feeling a little bit hoarse from being sick. But I'm trying to keep the coughs suppressed. Because I don't want to cough into the microphone. Because that would not be good for all parties involved. Right, now this should be 123, 122. So, let's see, 121 and 120. Then 123 and 122. Right? God, I'm not going to remember those. I'll just remember the, the lower one is the higher one, if that makes sense. That statement did not make a whole lot of sense. So, as you can tell, I don't remember if I s showed this the last time. I think I might have done it afterwards because I got irritated by the floor. Stupid slimes always plaguing me. But uh, I put in this, it's supposed to be like a double helix, but it doesn't look quite so much like it. But what are you going to do? So, the walls down there. I think I might want to... I'm probably going to use leaves, so I'm going to want something behind them. The question is, what? Protection 1. Hmm. 123, 122. 
and 121 and 120. Oh. Just how far down in here do I have to dig? That far. Okay. Oh. Okay. That that's pretty much where I ran out of dirt. This thing's gonna end up a lot like the lake itself is gonna be a lot deeper than it was to start. Which if you remember that was something I had actually kinda planned to do for a while. Oh uh oh. Oh no. Okay. Can't really go any more that way at the moment. Arr. Stop it, water. Seems to defy the laws of Minecraft water physics. Now, it's going to be far simpler if I dig out the area around where I want to do this, which I think I'm going to take it down to... three... up? This will be easier to describe if I go let's say over here I think ish So here's where the original terrain was before, and I'm going to have to be careful I don't go too far in any direction. What is I'm going to end up with issues? So, when I enchanted this pick, I mentioned that I wasn't quite sure what I was going to use it for. Yeah, I felt differently after I ended up picking up some clay blocks from right about there. Well, technically it was right about there, but... Like, ooh... Okay. My inventory is kind of full. I wonder if I can ender pearl out of that. That'd be interesting. Now, I want to take this down to. Where am I? Should be two up, right? Yes. Yes, it is. I'm going to chop this out for now. So, right around here. It's where I'm going to want to do this. The The level of the lake is going to be dropped down to here. And so, what that means is that I have to do a lot of clearing out around this thing, for one. Uh-oh. Okay. So, that's going to take a lot of work. Maybe we should go do something more interesting, and I'll work on this later. I'm not sure what I'm going to put here for the walls. It's basically right here where these two things are. Maybe I should uh, do maybe a design of wood or something. No, no, I think I might go with the leaf idea I was talking about. But what am I going to put behind it, then? I don't want to look black behind it, but I don't want the stone. Maybe I should try something like lime wool, or maybe green wool. Green wool would probably be too dark, so... I don't know. I'm going to have to go collect some of that. Figure that part out. Ooh. Let me up there. 
I may have accidentally created a factory for producing squid and killing them. Ah! Oh, I'm up to nine. And die me some squids. It's very dark down here. I don't like it. So, I don't plan to use torches for lighting in the end either. I'm probably going to use in the floor lighting like I did in the house. So, that's my plan with that one. The fact that squid is there is bothering me. I need to figure out what exactly my spatial allowances on each side are. Oh. I kind of want to bring it down safely, but I can always edit the bank to match whatever I want. I did allow myself a little bit of extra space to come out over here. Is that a... St what the... Oh, that's a full block. And that... looks kind of weird. Did I put stairs there? I have no idea. The hell? One day I will cure them. Of course, uh, that also go a little, goes along the line of one day I will have nether wart. And that's what I should do. I should try and find an actual fortress, a different fortress or whatever, to explore and find some nether wart in. And this episode's a bit short, but my throat is, like I said, it's still a bit hoarse. It's enough that I can talk and whatnot, but as it currently stands, it still kind of hurts a bit. Not hurts, but trying to prevent coughing is very difficult. But I, in order to substitute for the fact that I could not get, I made a lot more smooth stone than I needed. Oh, man. I made a lot more glass than I needed, too. Look at this. Look at this. So much glass. I will place it... You know what? Put it in here. This can be the miscellaneous building blocks chest. Or something along those lines. I, uh... Went and got the resources from the stronghold chests. So, that's what I'm up to for resources there. Yep. My iron state is sad. Uh, technically that's a mob drop. So much zombie flesh. I didn't bring the books or anything over, but there's not... I don't really plan on using the books at the moment because of the fact that you only get one enchant on them. And because I don't have the spawner, the, the Enderman XP farm, quite up to the standards I wanted to get it to for proper output, I mean, it works. It works pretty well. And I have baked potatoes. Oh, yeah. So, oh, wow, there was a lot. There was already baked potatoes in there. I have quite a bit of food. So... I don't really plan on enchanting any books at the moment because of the fact that, like I said, they only give you one enchant. What am I going to do with that? Hmm. Hmm. I will think about that one. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to want to do something through here too, but if I reduce the whole lake, there's a very good chance that the sides of this, like, this whole thing right here would be pretty much underwater, including these walls. Ugh, those slimes. I'm so sick of hearing them. 
as for the stairs that I put here, uh, I might extend it out and do half slabs since I left myself with so many. It does seem like a good idea to get rid of that. I need to figure out what to do with the walls here because I want it to be obvious the walls are still supported so I don't want to turn all of those to glass surrounded by water but I forget why I had so much soul sand. What was that about? So I'm still not sure about this whole thing here. The whole thing, something feels really off about it. And you shut up. I still want to put in, like, some kind of system or something to stop mobs from walking up to my front door, because... While I haven't heard it since I finished this bit here, it can still happen. And that is why I want to do it. But I'm thinking I'm going to start doing things that are a bit less practical and more just building for the sake of building. And for those that were a fan of my house in the hardcore let's play, I do have plans to somewhat bring the idea back. Let's just say it's going to involve the desert. And yeah. Yeah. I'm going to leave it that for now cuz I still have some planning on how I want to handle that. I, I'm not sure on that one. I will still figure it out eventually. But as for now, I th think I'm gonna call this good. Um, thinking about, I thought about playing some other games as well to record and upload. But to be honest, none of the games that have came out recently have really been all that interesting to me. I've seen a few indie games that looked interesting and I had thought about, but. Nothing too impressive, but then again, I haven't really been looking too hard. Yeah. And once I finish off... Those episodes of Dark Souls I've been uploading are the ones that I've had backlogged for ever. Like, months. Once those are done, I'm probably going to start recording Dark Souls again. Although, I might have to... Why am I running around in circles like a crazy man? I might have to, uh... What's the word here? Like, I have a second character just for when I was, like, really, 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 really into it, and I didn't... And, like, I had filled up the hard drive with videos. Like, raw video. And so... I need to do something about something. I can't just stand here and talk. So, basically, what I need to do is probably play that a bit more, get back into the feel of things, make sure I got all my keybinds set up, because a lot of them were bound to the mouse, and I screwed with that some. But, uh, yeah. I tell you what, I'm going to call this good for now, and I don't have to really worry about farming leather and stuff yet because I have like eight stacks of books from clearing out the Stronghold Library. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I have a lot of books. There's the clay I got. 32 blocks. Now if only I could think of something good you could do with bricks. Because they look kind of crap. Yep. So... I'm going to call this good for now, and I will see you guys next time. Have a good day.